subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update if you want to download and install csi eatabs 9.7.4 click on card link showing top right of video what is dual system dual system is a system in which the resistance against lateral forces is formed through a series of shear walls and with a series of moment frames according to ubc 97 code Clause 1629.6.5. The moment resisting frames shall be designed to independently resist at least 25% of the design base shear. In this video I will show you how I can check whether building model in ETABS 9.7.4, acting properly as dual system or not, that is moment resisting frame is taking 25% of the design base shear or not. And if not then what modifications I have to apply in ETABS 9.7.4 model to design it as dual system. After analysis model, go to file, print tables and click on summary report. Direct go to page where calculation of auto seismic load exist. See, here V is total design base shear in load pattern EQX and its value is 1455 kip. This base shear value is same for EQY and other seismic load pattern having torsional eccentrices. Now let's open Excel sheet for do some quick calculation. Total base shear whose value is 1,455 kip. 25% of total base shear equals to 0 0.25 into 1,455, having value equals to 363.75 kip. Column base shear. I have six seismic load patterns and each separately use in load combination. That are EQX, EQXPY, EQXNY, EQY, EQYPX, and EQYNX. Where EQXPY, EQXNY, EQYPX, and EQYNX are seismic load patterns having torsional eccentricities. So I need column base shear for all these seismic load pattern. For that, Go to select and click on by line object type. And select column from list to select all columns. Go to view and click on show selections only. Go to base story. These are only base point of columns excluded from retaining wall and shear wall points. Select all these points. Go to file, print tables and click on analysis output. Here, only check reactions. Click on Select Loads. Select load patterns of EQX, EQXPY, EQXNY, EQY, EQYPX, and EQYNX. Check Print to File and click on OK. Open file where you saved it. Go to at End of File. This is summation of all column base joint, means base shear carried by all columns. For EQX, I have FX value as base shear of 245.17 kip. Note this value in Excel sheet. For EQY, I have FY value as base shear of 322.89 kip. Note this value in Excel sheet. Similarly do with other seismic load patterns of EQXPY, EQXNY. EQYPX, and EQYNX. Now I have to find scale factor, if column base shear is less than 25% of total design base shear which is criteria for dual system according to UBC 97 code. If column base shear is more than 25% of design base shear, then no need to enhance scale factor. For scale factor, 
it equals 25% design base shear divided with column base shear in each separate seismic load pattern. Now let's say this value is more than 25% of design base shear, so scale factor come less than 1.0 but it should not done in any seismic load combination. So I am applying, if statement formulae in this cell. So if column base shear is greater than 25% design base shear, scale factor equals 1 and if not then scale factor equals 25% design base shear divided with column base shear. Write dollar sign back to H and 10 to not changing its desired value when I will drag down this formula in Excel sheet. Now drag down this formula in front of all seismic load patterns. These are all scale factors to apply in each seismic load combination. Then these combinations will only use for design of moment resisting frame that is only for design of columns and beams. Seismic load combinations having seismic load pattern, scale factor equals 1, will use for shear wall design. If you are facing error after installing ETABS 9.7.4 in Windows 10, for its solution, click on card link showing top right of video. Now let's see how I will modify load combination for column design using scale factor. These are initial load combination or I can say these load combinations, I will use for only shear wall design, having scale factor equals to 1.0 for all seismic load pattern. You can see dead load scale factor also modify from 1.2 and 0.9 to other in initial load combination, if you want to see why and how I modify dead load scale factor for initial load combination, click on card link showing top right of video. These load combinations will modify with only enhancement of scale factor of seismic load pattern for column design. These are scale factor which I calculated earlier in Excel sheet. And these are load combinations with modify scale factor of seismic load pattern. You can see I changed scale factor of seismic load pattern which I calculate in these load combinations. These load combination will be used for design of columns. Want to see how to model suspension bridge in SAP 2000? Click on card link showing top right of video. If you need any assistance in structural engineering, or you want your structure to be designed, you can contact me through email address engineer.user2014 at gmail.com. Do like share and comment below in comment section. Also subscribe, and press bell icon so you will never miss any new video.